just a few minutes ago. The United States military lost an entire branch. Old Dominion went across the Chesapeake Bay and battled the United States Navy in all of its glory, or at least the glory that was on the football field. And Old Dominion, in a tough defensive battle, won 19-13 to to make Navy the third team to be eliminated from college football season-long imperialism. Thankfully, they're very low on this counter, so I don't have to scroll too far to find them on the wheel. Navy's gone. 131 teams eliminated by the end of today. We will have 128. We've got three more episodes to stream tonight. So let's find out. Who's going to be landed on next? In college football, 25, season-long imperialism. The fourth team to be landed on is... Boston College. The team with one of the most overpowered starting spots. will get started early as we stay on the East Coast. Let's see who they can face. Well, they're up in this corner. The only team they could face is UMass if the wheel goes in that direction. They're either going to go into the ocean and totally skip, or they could take New Hampshire or Rhode Island or possibly Maine. I'm going to say no because I'm going to say that's technically the Atlantic Ocean that's bordering both of them. So if it goes up there, it's ocean and it's nothing. So here we go. That's going to go southwest. And that is Rhode Island. So Boston College survives, and we will have to spin the wheel once again. But first, we got to give them their territory. Through the brush tool. Try to get this guy. This is scintillating content, really. down, put those away, and I'm getting a whole bunch of buffering notifications. I'm going to have to check to make sure this is pretty legible in the uh, post stream form since broadcasts are going to be the main way that people interact with this. Oh, I'm, we're fully frozen. Okay. That's not great. Um, so we got everything there. Boston College has expanded into Rhode Island. Usually Rhode Island stays unclaimed for most of imperialism. So that is an early change there. And we got to spin the wheel again. Come on. is very, very laggy right now. Um, so hopefully the changes save it. Wheels are to those teams again. That can be annoying. This isn't ideal. I'm going to stop the stream and we're going to come back once the internet is back. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're back. 131 teams. Navy is gone. Just one more shuffle just for good measure. And the next team to be selected in College Bowl 25 season long imperialism is. Illinois 
fighting Illini. We're going to go back to the Big Ten for the second time in this tournament. I don't think they have an ocean border, so this is going to be a guaranteed game. Let's take a look. Yep, Illinois is totally landlocked. They've got a whole bunch of opportunities because they have a lot. They have starting out with a lot of territory. They could go to Notre Dame, Purdue, Indiana, Western Kentucky, Missouri, Iowa, or Northern Illinois. Whole bunch of options. Let's spin the arrow and find out where they're going. That's going to go southwest. And there's only one team that can be. It's going to be the Missouri Tigers. <laughs> Illinois did not get a good draw there, and Missouri could become the early leader in land if they win this game. Let's get it set up. Missouri there. And Illinois over here. Illinois is an 82 overall. Missouri is an 88. It's a significant advantage for the Tigers. Get these uniforms set up. Illinois is going to be Ooh, this could be a fun uniform matchup. Because I believe Missouri's regular look is an all black look, if I'm not mistaken. Orange and yellow looks. And we're going to go all black. Actually, no, we're going to give them some yellow. Yeah, just to clarify, we're going to go back here and do standard away for Illinois. We'll give them the orange pants, though. All right, so it's called the arch rivalry. These two teams don't play all that often. Illinois, Missouri play. Calcomania is at 25 seconds. And we are underway. This is a beautiful, large stadium, a big ass bass drum. You gotta love it when teams have that. They're banging it. Missouri looking to hype up their fans. As they charge onto the field. Showing that bass drum again. Not entirely sure why. Got a Big Ten SEC battle here as the Illinois Fighting Illini will try to avoid becoming the first Big Ten team to be eliminated against the number 10 ranked Missouri Tigers. Illinois. And Missouri, both rosters pulled up. And we are underway in Missouri. Kick return is going to go out to oof, big time hit to the 19. Starting quarterback for the Tigers is Brady Cook, a redshirt senior. He has spent his entire career at the University of Missouri. He's a quarterback with number 12, and his first name is Brady. I wonder who his favorite player is. Probably Peyton Manning. Cook <laughs> hands it off to number nine. That is Marcus Carroll, their backup running back. He's a senior. Transfer from Georgia State. He is originally from Union City, Georgia, and Hapeville Charter High School. Second and nine for Missouri early on. Cook in the deep shotgun. Four wide receivers and an interesting bunched up look on both sides. Are they going to go screen? That's exactly what they're going to do. Can he get the speed to the outside? No. It's going to be third and six. Brady Cook, as I mentioned, redshirt senior. He's from Chaminade Prep in St. Louis, Missouri. Six foot two, 215 pounds. He's a good player. Let's see if he can lead Missouri onto a long run. I mean, they're going to be in grave danger because of how many teams they border. But they've got a good group for it. Cook launches. Caught. And that is going to be a first down for number one. That is Theo Weiss Jr., a redshirt senior, transferring over from Oklahoma. Originally went to Allen High School in Allen, Texas. I believe that's a national powerhouse. 
Turn around, come back. It's a pretty unbeatable route in CFP 25. Brady Cook in the shotgun on first and 10. He's going to hand it off to the second string running back against Marcus Carroll, and he only picks up two yards. Nothing doing there. Illinois' defense trying to hold strong. The overall difference favors Missouri by six points. It's 88 to 82. Second and eight for the Tigers. Cook hands it off. And that's the starting running back, Nate Noel. His first carry of the game is a senior transfer, and he gets the first down. He's a newcomer this year from Northwestern High School in Miami, Florida. Originally went to Appalachian State. The uniforms must feel like deja vu for him. Cuts inside and just uses his speed to create that lane between two Illinois defenders. No blockers there, but he was able to use his quickness to fly through. First and 10 from the 44. Cook sends a man in motion. Fakes the jet snap. It's going to jet pass. It's going to be a zone handoff to Marcus Carroll, who looks to be the bell cow here. They've got two senior transfers who have a lot of skill at running back. So it's second and eight here. Brady Cook in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Hand. No, it's a fake. Fires deep, and that is almost picked off. Knocked away by the Missouri receiver, saving an interception. They keep going to this, uh, this pan look right here. Maybe they ran out of animation or something. Third and eight. Brady Cook in the shotgun. Two wide receivers to his left. He waits. He throws. Short. Caught. That's number 87. It's fourth and inches. An early major decision from Missouri's head coach. That was the tight end. I believe it was Brett Norfleet making the catch and going out of bounds just before the first down. What will they decide to do? We find out right now. And they are going to go for it. Fourth and inches. They're in the shotgun. They really should be going for a quarterback sneak here. Brady Cook. Hands it off to Marcus Carroll, and Carroll will not get there. A huge stop for Tira Edwards. The redshirt senior transfer from Northwestern University. The fighting line, I get a big stop and take over right around midfield at the 36-yard line. And here's Luke Altmeyer, the redshirt junior transfer quarterback for Illinois. Altmeyer fakes the touch pass and hands it off. That's going to be number three on the outside. That is... Caden Fegan, the sophomore running back. Altmeyer is originally from Starkville, Mississippi. Went to Starkville High School and then went to Ole Miss. But after the uh, success of Jackson Dart, he's like, I want to play. I came here to play football. I'm not playing much football. So he transfers to Illinois. He's now the starting quarterback. Altmeyer with trips to the right. Takes the snap. Waits. Throws over the middle. And that is knocked away. Great defense from Missouri to knock that play down. Third and seven. Three and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Altmeyer waits. Gets the pass off. It is caught. He holds on to the ball, and that is an impressive first down for the wide receiver who wears number one that I don't have the name of. Great. It's a good catch. It might be Mario Sanders, sophomore transfer. I'll have to double check on that. It's first and 10. Altmeyer fakes the handoff. It's a play action. He's going to launch deep. This could be the first touchdown of the game. He's got a man down there. It's mm -hmm. tipped away. That's going to be pass interference on Missouri. Oh, boy. It's a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down for Illinois, who sprints up to the line. We will not get a replay on that. Altmeyer in the gun. He's got Fegan next to him. Fegan rolls out to the 30. He stays on his feet to the 20. And Illinois is the first team to enter the red zone. Could we have an upset brewing here for the Fighting Illini on the road against a top 10 opponent? First and 10. 17 yards away. 
Altmaier calling out some defensive players. He's going to audible at the line. Takes the snap. Launches to the sideline, and it's knocked away. Great defensive play there by Toriano Pride Jr., the transfer quarterback, cornerback from Clemson. But he's coming home. He's from East St. Louis High School in St. Louis, Missouri. Second and 10. Altmaier in the shotgun. Stops, waits, throws. Long, knocked away. Another great defensive play by Missouri. That's going to be Sidney Williams, a redshirt senior transfer from Florida State. He's from Vigor High School in Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, mo Mobile, I, I don't know. Anyway, it's third and 10. Altmaier's going to be the empty set. Some great pass defenses from two Missouri corners here. He drops back, throws, long. Oh, my God. He caught it but stepped out of bounds. Could not get his feet in bounds. That was Mario Sanders who couldn't bring the ball in, and it's going to be fourth down. Here's an early field goal try for Illinois' kicker. This is David Alano. Snap, hold, kick is no good. Illinois was marching. They had an impressive drive going, a couple nice runs. But it ends up with zero points. Missouri's defense holds strong, and we remain scoreless here. So here comes the Missouri offense from the 20-yard line. Brady Cook getting things set once again. Tosses it over the middle, and that is going to be caught I believe that's number two. That's Marquise Johnson making the catch. Either that or it's Luther Burden, one of the best wide receivers in all of college football. Didn't quite get the number on that. So it's second and one. Probably going to be a run here to Nate Noel, who gets by the first tackler and pushes forward to the 37. Missouri is on their way. So it's first down. Brady Cook in the shotgun. He's got an extra protector for tight end. Three wide receivers in. It's a fake touch pass. It's going to be a zone run. Big time hit as Illinois pushes him back, but he's able to pick up five. That's going to be Nate Noel once again. He just gets he gets the hole, but everybody else steps up. I mean, sometimes the hole's going to happen. The line's just that good, and you just – have guys waiting in the second level where it's harder for the lineman to pick him out to shut down the runs and force second and short. Another run for Noel, and he powers through the middle for a first down right at midfield. Nate Noel starting to get cooking. We've got a little bit of extracurricular activity. I don't think they can call unsportsmanlike conduct or nece unnecessary roughness in 25 because computers don't have emotions. Um, they can have animations of emotions, but they don't have emotions. First and 10. Cook hands off Noel's third straight carry. Is only going to go for three yards. About 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter here. Second and seven for the Tigers. They are 48 yards away from the end zone. Cook sends a man in motion, fakes the touch pass. Looking long. Does he have a man? Yes, he does. Touchdown. And Luther Burden III has made his presence felt in college football season-long imperialism. Something tells me that will not be the last time he gets into the end zone in this competition. Give him a very central location and his incredible skill. He just gets by the corner. We'll have to see if that was press coverage. It might have been. We'll have to check the highlights at the end of the game. Four seconds to go in the first, and Missouri is on the board. Blake Craig in for the kick, for the extra point. Snap. Hold. Kick is good. 
And it's seven nothing Tigers here. Six plays, eighty yards. The bomb to lose their burden is the difference so far. There goes the kickoff. It's going to be returned. One second to go in the first quarter here. Altmeyer waits, throws. Oh, no. That is intercepted. Johnny Walker Jr. And I'm like, all right, somebody else has to do this. Let's keep going. So Missouri gets a game-changing interception. They are already on the precipice of the red zone, and this could be a very, very short stream despite the fact that I just had to leave for a couple minutes. Johnny Walker Jr. I mean, it's just a good read. He's standing there. Altmaier didn't see him. And it's first down Missouri. Or first, that, nope, wait, it's the end of the first quarter. Missouri up 7 nothing. But let's get going here. First and 10 for Brady Cook and the Missouri Tigers. This is an early chance to make this a multiple possession lead. Cook waits, throws, long, touchdown! And what did I... Oh, no, that's not Luther Burden. It's not Luther Burden. That is Mookie Cooper, a redshirt senior transfer from Ohio State. Missouri's got some very good receivers here. A beautiful stadium with just wide open skies here, uh, wherever they are in Missouri. I mean, that is just a gorgeous ball. Really bad blown coverage by whatever defender Illinois had. And if they do not score on this drive, we will go to Super Sim, and this will be a really fast game. I don't know if you can trim after the fact with YouTube. You might be able to. We'll see. <laughs> I tried to mute that. I didn't fully get there, but it's fine. They make the extra point. It's time for the kickoff for the Tigers. There it goes. Illini on the return, and that is not a good return. Only out to the 14. So they're going to sprint out there. Luke Altmaier with a very bad throw in his last possession. We'll see if he can make it up, make up for it right here. But they're going to go halfback dive first just to get the offense's bearings. And it gets absolutely nothing. Illinois not doing all that hot right now. Zion Young, the junior transfer, the junior transfer out of... Michigan State makes the tackle there for no gain. Illinois going technically no huddle. The first 15 seconds had to come off the clock. Going to switch things around. It was a beautiful run this time to make it third and five. Illinois with a fighting chance here after Caden uh, Fegan gets another run. Fegan's a sophomore. has played his entire college career at Illinois. From Atwood, Illinois, Arthur High School. So he's a local product. Third and five. Illinois sprints up to the line. Altmeyer in the shotgun. Empty set. Five wide receivers. He's back. He looks. He throws. Long and... Oh, my God. That was almost a pick six. Another pass breakup by Toriano Pride Jr. who's having a great, great game. That's his second pass defense of the, of the day. This is going to be a punt, and we are going to Super Sim unless Missouri fumbles this punt. Tigers try to block it. They don't get there. They will return it. It is taken down. We're going to have to let one more play go here. Here's Brady Cook from the 46. He takes the snap, hands it off. That's going to be a beautiful run right up the gut all the way to the 34. For some reason, I can't pause. Let's go to Super Sim, folks. This 
just going to watch one more play here. Brady Cook takes the snap. Waiting, 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 dropping back, throwing short. It's caught. And we're going to Super Sim. Let's get the rest of the second quarter here. It's 24 to nothing. This is getting ugly fast. 31 to nothing at halftime. We're just going to go to the end of the game. And Missouri is going to make quick, dominant work of Illinois. They do get two touchdowns late. Three touchdowns. And that'll do it. 42-21. to 21, Missouri with the most emphatic showing from a team not named Ohio State so far. And they will get a whole lot of territory taking out probably the best team in Illinois. MVP of the game is going to be Brady Cook. 182 passing yards. Four touchdowns. I wonder how many of those went to Luther Burden. We will have to check in one moment. Let's take a look at a couple of these highlights. There's Mookie Cooper going into the end zone. There's the catch from Luther Burden that we saw, and the others were in Super Sim. That's the end of the game, 42-21. to 21. So let's update the map. here and there we go and Illinois has turned Missouri yellow the eye is gone Let's get rid of that border, too. Love that. here okay let's we'll move this to the center and just make it huge. Missouri has made their presence felt in college football season-long imperialism. Look at the twin Tigers right there between Kansas State and Missouri. That is the end of the stream. I'll be back in a couple minutes with the next battle. I just got to update the stats. I will see you 